what is that this is called what is this called newton's cradle what do you have here you have pendulums where did he invent pendulum that is why you see in some houses you have pendulum some will be big disc some will be small disc but as long as the length of the pendulum is same it will take the same time so this clock and that clock every other clock having the same length of the pendulum will have the same period irrespective of whether it is made of metal wood or something right so in the same way this is yeah newton's cradle i take one piece and then hit what is happening when i hit with one ball how many go on the other side one i take two balls now how many are going two i hit with three wait i am doing with three how are they going three again three on the other side can you see that when i take three there are only two but when i hit the three one of the three join with the other two go on the other side the first two will stay back correct and then it happens on both sides see once more i take four you will find four will go on this side when i hit with four four will go on this side when i hit with two two will go on sit this side right so if i have you have seen billiards you have seen billiards billiards game you have love on a nice velvety table you love wooden balls somebody will hit with a rod one ball and it will go and hit another ball right when it hits you know what happens this ball will go and stay that ball will go with equal velocity you have seen that in the same way here all balls are of equal mass so when i hit a one ball on a smooth surface with equal mass another ball then what will happen this ball which is hitting will immediately brought to rest and the other ball will go with the same velocity right this is what is called this is what is called collision you know collision collision means what a car and a motor bike hitting on the road that is collision right that is collision so when collision happens what happens usually see for example i have got a ball i put it like that it comes out then what happens it bounces back why is it bouncing back can you see there is a collision happening here with one ball and one huge earth correct you didn't see that it's a collision between two balls one ball is this rubber ball what is the other ball earth, earth. big earth right so when these two hit what happens earth is so large what it does makes this fellow almost come back with the same velocity that is why it is almost coming to nearly the same height right but it is not coming fully why because it loses some energy when it hits the that to do to fix and kinetic energy of this you know kinetic energy kinetic energy of this ball will be lost because the ball get deformed it can get deformed no when it hits when it hits it gets deformed therefore some energy is lost that is why it is not coming to the same height but if it is a metal ball and there is another metal bar if they hit what will happen they go with the same velocity in the opposite direction that is exactly what is happening here it is not rubber ball it is a metal ball so metal ball cannot deform easily so it will exchange the entire energy to the other guy so here what is happening there is exchange of energy only among the balls and exchange of momentum you heard of momentum what is momentum mass into velocity is called momentum that will happen in newton second law so what is different there mass into velocity is different for the steel ball compared to the rubber ball therefore the rubber ball has got less momentum the iron ball has got 
more momentum. The momentum is also not changed, we are not lost. Energy is also not lost because it is elastic collision. So you understand this later on, maybe this year or next year, we can understand this much better. Okay? But it's a very nice experiment because if I hit with two ball, I can have one ball going with a twice the velocity. That's not happening, correct? Even then, 2m into velocity is equal to m into twice the velocity. They are equal, no? 2mv, 2mv. So it, one ball can go with twice the velocity, but that is not happening. That is because not only the momentum should be the same, energy also should be the same. 